Hello there, welcome to part four session of end-to-end -end implementation of WordPress site in Amazon Light Sail. So if you have already seen the part one, two, and three tutorials, you are much confident now that you have already installed that WordPress website in Amazon Light Cell. And in this part four tutorial, what we will do, we will create SSL certificate. We will use Amazon certificate manager to create SSL certificate and how we can add to that domain we are using. If you are someone who landed on this tutorial session directly, I will request you to please go back to this part one, two and three session to understand that how we created WordPress instance, how we created the custom domain, configured it, uh, the hosted zone and now in this part 4 session I will be showing you the SSL certificate with Amazon certificate manager. So let's proceed. As you know that we have launched the WordPress instance under Amazon Light Cell already and we have our root 53 also configured so far. So in our root 53 we have this hosted zone and in hosted zone we have this brand and market domain and we have currently three records ns and soa are the default records once you created the hosted zone and the a type record which we created to point to the particular instance of the wordpress because we wanted that once we browse this brandandmarket.com our WordPress should come up. So again, I'm showing that once I'm just browsing over here and this is our WordPress, very initial WordPress website over here. Now in this session, let me show you that how we can create the SSL certificate for this website. Okay, so SSL means your Amazon certificate manager, ACM or certificate manager, just click over here. Okay, once you land up, definitely this certificate manager or Amazon certificate you actually create based on the region. Okay, so it is not a global service. It is a region based service. So remember this thing and clicking on get started where provision certificates. Click over there, get certificates. Now, request a public certificate because we need the public certificate. So it is already selected. Request a certificate over here. It is asking for add domain names. Okay, so our domain names are brand and market. You know it. So I am just copying it over here. Just right over here, brandandmarket.com. Then it is asking add another name to this certificate. Okay, if you want to add multiple domains, you can add. Now in our case, what I will do that I will add a www.brandandmarket.com as well as a subdomain cdn.brandonmarket.com and now I will uh, explain uh, the purpose why I am adding this cdn.brandonmarket.com over here because we will be using it as content delivery network for publishing our media files wherever uh, we are storing in our S3 bucket. Okay, so before clicking on next, as I realized that the cdn.brandonmarket.com and www.brandonmarket.com are actually not there in my root 53. So let me go back to my root 53 once more. Go to the hosted zone over here. And you see that we have this only brandandmarket.com, not this www thing. Okay. So what I have to do that create a record over here. Now here you put www dot, not the dot. It will give this dot automatically and put it over this a record. That's fine. Give it a value just for now, uh, a temporary purpose. I'm just putting over it. What was our, uh, static IP. So this was our static IP. I'm just copying it. 
and adding it over here okay just I'm keeping this copy okay so we have added one more record which is www.brandandmarket.com now the next one is CDN we will change this value later don't worry okay so CDN only because dot and brand and market it will add and CDN actually is going to be the C name okay which will point to a particular uh, cloud form uh, cloud front distribution so for now I'm just putting over here cloud front dot net it's like that definitely I will change it and I'll tell you how to change it so create this record over here so you see that we have brand and market.com we have cdn dot brand and market.com we have www dot brand and market.com if you want to create any subdomain of your domain okay you can create it in this hosted zone okay the same way I'm creating over here now we have these things ready so, so we have brand and market.com we have www.brandonmarket.com and cdn.brandonmarket.com just click over next perfect now it is asking for the select validation method there are two options dns validation and email validation in our case since when you are doing you have your hosted zone in this aws account because you have access to your hosted zone so it is much uh, easier for you in some cases where you are creating this certificate but you don't have the access or eligibility to reach to the hosted zone okay suppose you have your domain registered or um, with some other providers okay or in some another AWS account where you don't have the access okay then you go for this email verification when you go for this email verification what it will do it will send the email uh, approval email to the email address of your domain registration during domain registration you had entered the email your email right so when you see once you select this email validation Amazon will send you the particular emails with the signed uh, URL for your approval to that email but now it is much easier because email validation takes little bit time DNS validation when you have that hosted zone access let's go for that let me show you that how it works okay so our DNS validation is selected click over the next you can add this tag name I would definitely suggest that you put the project name and the project value but for now I'm just leaving over here review, review domain name additional two domain name and uh, a validation method it is the dns1 confirm the request perfect so it is provisioning the certificate okay and we are uh, in us east region now it is showing that pending validation because for three domains three domains uh, for them because these two are the subdomains and this is the main domain now it is showing pending validation and once you click over here you will see that this is the uh, this is the record which it wants to add to your DNS now your DNS means let's go back to your hosted zone now over here you see that we have total five records right now give attention over here so what it says that create record in root 53 it gives this button once you just click over this button what it will do that okay you uh, click on create and it will create the DNS record whatever required so I did that it's showing success now I'm going back to this hosted zone over here giving a refresh and you see that one certificate has been added over here okay and we will do the same for the next two as well so just expand it click over it click on create okay the CDN one click record create create and we are done so we have created all three records so let me go back to this um, uh, hosted zone and giving a refresh and you see that we have 
three all three uh, this certificates added over here perfect let's go to acm and just click continue okay once you did this continue this uh, brandon market overall it is showing pending validation the first one was success and second one and third one it is still showing validation it actually takes little bit time little bit means maybe 15 minutes or more than that by one hour it will also show you the success and until it is in use means maybe the certificate has been created but it is not in use it will show you this in use and no and when we create the CloudFront distribution we attach this uh, certificate in the CloudFront distribution I will show you that how it shows that it is in use and when it is in use then only the renewal eligibility will show eligible if it is not used then it will not it is not eligible to go the automated renewal eligibility so you know that this certificate actually doesn't cost you anything okay and it gets renewed automatically but only when this certificate is used let's give a refresh and see that how it is going perfect it's showing issued so it means that it has completed the validation for all three domains over here so we have this acm created and configured for our domain until now it is showing that in use no because in the next session i'll show you that how to create the CloudFront distribution and use this certificate. Thank you for attending this session. If you have any query, please write in the comment box below. And please don't forget to visit our AWS Tech Guide channel. And for the resources, you can go to our AWS GitHub repository and you'll get this script, this repository. You will get all the script you will need for various purposes. Definitely you need for this particular uh, use case or a tutorial, you go under this WordPress, over this WordPress, Amazon Light Cell S3, you will get the steps. I, I will share this link in the description box below. And please visit that awstechguide.com. And if you are interested, go for this join us and check that how can you uh, join our forum and be a part of us. You can go to the projects as well and see that how we uh, create launch a new project whether it is open source project or sponsored project and if you are interested you can join this open source community and contribute your expertise. Thank you and see you in the next session.